So it looks like Starlink may finally be coming to Zimbabwe. Hear me out. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Now, Eswatini is the eighth country to receive Starlink on the African continent. So the question on every Zimbabwe's mind will be, when is Starlink officially coming to Zimbabwe? Now I say officially because uh, already people are locally are selling kits for over a uh, 1000 US dollars, right? You can get a kit. And those that are brave enough are actually going to Zambia, purchasing their kits for around $500, bringing them into the country and using them on roaming, which is still cheap because it's around $56. Now, there won't be any need for that if the rumor mill is correct. But before we even look into the rumor mill, this is what Mtuli Ngube had to say. Um, let me comment perhaps on um, uh, what you call it, uh, star, what's called Starlink. Uh, Starlink, which is a satellite service uh, coming out of uh, Mr. Elon Musk, uh, uh, from Zambia, uh, South Africa, uh, I think most of the case well now, Kenya, are able to access a signal from that satellite service. I think we as government as well, when we can across this to examine whether we should also allow citizens to, to, to access it. But I'm aware that Zimbabweans are already buying uh, small satellite uh, dishes and boxes to decode signal. Uh, they're buying them from South Africa, Zambia, Mozambique, uh, and so forth. Uh, but then they are paying for the same out there. So when I was telling the government, perhaps we should pay for the service here, so we should allow Starlink to operate uh, without challenges of the So when we are looking into it as government, uh, when that happens, then we can, uh, uh, this signal then can be allowed to be used in the rural areas, in some of the schools that we're talking about, uh, where this signal can be accessed, and uh, ICT services that can be accessed in our rural schools, uh, I, I think. So basically, if the Minister of Finances is saying that you should know, you should just have an idea that Starlink may be coming to Zimbabwe. Now, the latest is that Starlink is coming to Zimbabwe. Now, this is in the rumor mill, by the way, but you know Zimbabwe's rumor mill. Most times it is correct. So it is alleged that Starlink will be coming into Zimbabwe, but it is partnering Dande Mutande, a local internet service provider. Now, now, I know before you panic, right? Because uh, every time a Zimbabwean company is, uh, is involved, most times the service will end up being out of reach of many. But uh, this is what Starlink has been doing on the continent. If you look at Nigeria, even Zambia, they partnered a company called Paratas in Zambia to distribute their kits locally. So I guess this is the same deal that they want to do with the Dandem Tandem. Like I said, this is alleged at this stage, but you know, this is Zimbabwe, and most times the rumors always tend to be to be true. So that name time maybe is just there as the distribution partner. But what it means for us is that the, the timelines that were set on Starlink's website, because they said uh, Starlink will be coming to Zimbabwe in Q2, which, which is the second quarter of 2024. Looks like we might even uh, reach that target if the rumor mill is anything to go by. So that is news coming out of Zimbabwe. Winning that ticket, Rose, was the best thing that ever happened to me. Very soon we'll be using Starlink in this country, and uh, I'm sure this is welcome. I would really, really, really pray that the price for Starlink will be like $36, because in Zambia they're only paying $36 for unlimited internet. Imagine if we get the same price here, although I highly doubt that's going to happen. But if that happens, wow, uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves, guys. I mean, Starlink for $36, imagine unlimited internet for $36, the possibilities, man. I mean, you can just watch Netflix, no buffer. You can even watch it in 4K if you want. Think of remote jobs, think of um, uh, content creators, you know, they've been complaining that uh, data is too high. Although the issue with Starlink as well is that the upload speed are not uh, that good. But hey, $36, who can complain? So that's it guys, that's the new Starlink soon will be coming to Zimbabwe if the rumor mill is anything to go by. Is this good news for you? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comment regarding Starlink coming to Zimbabwe, leave it down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.